Hello everybody, um, it's me, Texas, and I'm here with the wonderful <laughs> Mika. And uh, I'll be uh, asking her some uh, questions. So uh, my first question for you is, um, so you were nominated for a Nickelodeon's Kids' Choice Award, um, and you traveled to Asia, and you landed another modeling agency called Models Directors, and you recently did a campaign for JJ's, and on top of that, you were also voted 26 most beautiful faces in the world. So uh, where to from there? Well, I'm hoping to go on more on stays. So maybe to Japan, Milan, we'll see. But we've got contracts in the making, so I'm very excited for that. Awesome, awesome. What's the most difficult thing you have to deal with at your stage of success? Um, I think shooting summer clothes in winter time and winter clothes in summertime. <laughs> that is hard. Uh, what's yeah, sure. the best advice you've been given throughout your whole career as a model and an influencer? Just to stay true to myself, yeah, and not lose who I am. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Do you ever get nervous when you go to modeling events and jobs? And if so, how do you overcome these nerves? Sometimes I do, yeah. I think it's a natural thing for everyone to get nervous. So I just breathe. Yeah. Calm myself with breathing. Do you meditate a lot? Um, not really. I just sit and I have three deep breaths. So, uh, this is pretty, I don't know, this is pretty an easy one. So, who's the most famous person you've met? That's not an easy one. Really? <laughs> no. Um, Niall Horan from One Direction. Niall Horan? Yeah. Wow. That's a big one. Yeah. Really so, where did you meet him then? At his concert. Oh, okay. Being a young, modern female, What's the main message you want to send to your young fans uh, going through social media? Um, that beauty comes in all shapes and sizes and colours. It's, it's beauty is everywhere and it's inside you and outside. As an older sister to uh, Indian River, uh, is, is there any guidance you can give them that you've learnt through your journey as a model? Like modelling advice? Yeah, let's just say modelling advice, yeah. Okay, um, well, I, if I were to give them advice for modelling, say they hadn't done a shoot before, I'd say just to go with the flow of it all and just take the photographer's advice as, like, as much as you can. Yeah. In. Who uh, inspires you as a model and why? Taylor Hill, because I think she just displays herself nicely. Mm -hmm. What's the best advice you can give up-and-coming models? To be yourself, mm -hmm. always be yourself, and if you want to get into modelling, send your headshots in to an agency and multiple agencies and see which one gets back to you. Did the followers come quickly when you started or did it like become a process, like a slow process or a quick process? It was like over years okay. of me posting and posting and posting mm. and posting and people liking what I was doing. Yeah, so were you posting every day or every second day? It was like weekly and now it's every second day. So you put so much time into photo shoots. So mm -hmm. on average, um, how many days a week do you usually have photo shoots and how do you fit all your schoolwork and like leisure time and free time in? Pretty easily actually. Um, on average, this week I had maybe five photo oh, shoots. Wow. Yeah. Every day and um, yeah, but my mom's really good. She helps me like plan them out. Mm. This week I have all my photo shoots. This is the holidays. Yeah. And next week I have maybe one or two only. Okay. So. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. That's I pretty much get every to day. Me time. <laughs> yeah. So for someone who wants to make their Instagram account appealing for others, what advice do you think you'd give them? Ooh. Keep posting your content and make it you. Yeah. The page is. It's your page, mm. so give it your vibe. From your first post in September 2015, you got around 898 likes, I think. And now when you post, you get around 30 to 40,000 likes yeah. on average. So when you post, how did that uh, change what you post on social media? And did you, um, did you have to become more cautious on what you post? No, I never had to because it was always me. Mm. And I think it's really good to be real with your followers. Yeah. You've met some amazing people uh, on your journey as a model. So who's changed you the most in the good way? And um, yeah, just who's changed you the most? Um, changed me in good way, definitely Nick Walters. Okay. Yeah, he's been awesome to me. He's like, he's a friend as well as a photographer and we both grow from shooting with each other. Okay. So yeah, we get the best results. Yeah. <laughs> so have you shot the most with him? 
Um, I'd say so, yeah. I think we've done 20 shoots, maybe. Oh, wow. It's a lot. Yeah, uh, over five years. Oh, wow. So, so lastly, um, I don't know if this is a harder one, but where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years? Ooh. Um, if I'm blessed enough to continue on this journey, then hopefully doing some big brands and walking in major fashion shows. Okay. So, uh, thank you guys, uh, for watching this video. If you guys liked, please like, subscribe, and comment below who I'm going to interview next. Bye!